you know, as a child, I was like every other kid. One of the things that I detested most was going to the doctor. And I would always ask my mother, Alei Shalom, do I have to get a shot? Because every kid hates getting shots. And perhaps my life would have been a lot easier had I had my children's pediatrician. You know who you are. See, when he gives shots, it's very different than when I got shot as a kid. Because when children start to get scared and worried because they know that they're getting a shot, he takes them to the side and he says to them, this is only going to hurt for a minute. If you don't fight, it'll be over with and you'll be okay. You need this. But if you're going to fight me, it's going to take a lot longer and it might even hurt more. And so usually what happens is the shot is given and the kids know that when they go to this doctor that they get their shot and it's over with and done with. And they end up not fighting. Halavai, that's a parent's dream. Yaakov in our parsha wants to tell his children when Mashiach is going to come. And the Torah says that something happened. Rashi explains that the Shechina, God's presence, leaves Yaakov as he's about to reveal this time. Why was that the case? Because Hashem didn't want Yaakov to tell his children when Mashiach was going to come. Rav Bonim of Pshischa asks a great question. He said, why did Yaakov need to tell his children? What, what made Yaakov want to tell his children when Mashiach was going to come? Was it going to make their lives any easier if they knew when Mashiach was going to come? Was it going to make their pain or their suffering any easier? So he explains, yes, actually. Yaakov reasoned in his mind that if the children knew when the pain and the suffering was going to be over, then the pain and the suffering of Gullus, the pain and suffering of exile would have been a little bit easier for them to swallow. If they knew that Mashiach was going to come in X year, then they would know, okay, we might be struggling now, we might be going through a challenging time now, but there is an end, there is light at the end of this tunnel. And therefore, it's a little bit easier for us to go with the pain as opposed to just continuously feeling that we're struggling and struggling and struggling to no end. And so the same is true when it comes to our own lives. One of the greatest fears that we have in life is that of the unknown. We all fear the unknown, and the only thing that we can do is try to take solace in something. What is it that we take solace in? We take solace in the fact that we believe that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is giving us whatever challenges He's giving us for our own good. And that in the end, things are going to work out and things are going to be better. And as difficult as it is as we go through these challenges, we try to think that even though we can't understand, Hashem has His reasons, and in the end, it will be good for us, even if we cannot understand it. And so, as children, we can't understand why we need to get shots until we grow up later on in life and realize that we need them for our immunizations, we need them for our own health. And so too, perhaps, when it comes to our suffering and the goggles as a people, we don't understand why Hashem has to make it so difficult, but yet we know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, albeit we don't know exactly when. So whether it's, a, it's as individuals or whether it's as a people, may we be zoche that HaKadosh Baruch Hu not reveal the time of our geula, the time that we are return and that we're no longer in exile, but HaKadosh Baruch Hu simply bring it to us as individuals, our own personal geulas, our own personal redemptions, and also as a people, the true redemption of all of Klal Yisrael in the time of Mashiach. Bimhei Rabbi Amenu. Amen. Thank you for listening and have a good Shabbos.